Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will learn how we can call external web APIs or we can say how we can do callouts in LWC without using Apex code. Okay. So let's first talk about scenario when and why we should call web APIs directly in LWC without Apex. So let's say we want to get and show data from any other system and we don't want to apply any logic or we don't want to save that in Salesforce database like there is nothing to do at server side with that data for example we need to show current weather details and we just want to show the current weather details on our component and we don't want to save it in our Salesforce database in this case if we'll use Apex to call weather APIs then it will be time consuming for user because first request will go to the Salesforce server then Apex will call weather APIs and after getting response, Apex will send same response to LWC. So there are two steps involved. First request goes to Salesforce server, then API server. So obviously this will take time because this request goes to two servers. Okay. So in such kind of scenarios where we do not want to perform anything on Salesforce server, then we can call web APIs directly in LWC component. Now let's talk about how we can call web APIs directly in LWC. So this is a two step process. First we need to add API domain in CSP trusted sites in Salesforce. And why this is required? Because lightning component framework use CSP to prevent cross site scripting and other injection attacks. So by adding our domain in CSP trusted sites, we can make call out from JavaScript as well. Okay. Second, we need to use JavaScript Fetch API to call any kind of web API. And we can say Fetch API is the JavaScript feature that allows us to make API calls across network. And it provides a global fetch method. With the help of that, we can call our web APIs. Okay. And now let's check API endpoint that we will use for demo purpose in this video. So we will use this some random API website. This provides open APIs means we do not need any credentials to call these APIs and this will provide random image of any of these categories so let me select this cat and click on link to endpoint and whenever we will make a API request to this URL then it will return us a random cat image so we will use this API and show cat image in our component okay so as for first step let me add this API domain under CSP trusted sites so let me open Salesforce setup and let's find CSP trusted sites. Click on new. Let's enter any name. Random cat. This is the domain and select these checkboxes. And click on save we have given space so we need to remove this okay so now we have saved our domain into CSP trusted sites now to perform second step let me open my VS code and create new component there So we have created a component. Now let's create a button in HTML and image tag. So on clicking of that button, we can fetch image from API. Okay, so I have created a get image button and this is the handler and also image tag and in SRC I have used this img URL property that we will declare in our JS file and also I have specified max width that is 300. Okay, so now let's open JS file and create that click handler. Now declare two properties.
and let's copy and paste the URL in endpoint. Okay, now let's write code to all this API. Now we are done with our code. So let me explain it to you. So, so this is the JavaScript fetch method and we need to pass API endpoint as a first parameter and second parameter is optional. We can pass other attributes in this like method name, headers and body. So let me show you how you can pass. So I have passed method get from here and if you want to pass headers then you can type headers here okay and fetch is returning promise so to handle that we need to use then and in this then method we are returning json this is also returning a promise so we have to use another then over here okay so in this second then we will get response over here as a json and in that response we are getting a image property so i have assigned that image property to image url okay and I have used this image URL property to our image tag. Okay. Now let me update meta file and deploy it to the server. Deployment completed. So let me add it on my home page. Click on edit page. Okay, so now I have added that component to our page. So let me click on save and go back. Now you can see our component here. So let me click on this get image button. Okay, so we can see image now and if you will click again, then it will face new image. Okay. Now let me go back to my VS code. So as of now we have done it using promises, but we can also use async and await and we can say this is the advanced version of promises and async and await makes our code easy to read and understand. And there are other lots of advantages of using async and await over promises. So nowadays with asynchronous programming, we should use async and await instead of promises in JavaScript. So let me implement same code with async and await. So let me comment this handler and create new. Okay, so now we have converted our promises code into async and await and you can notice our code is looking much better than promises now and now we can read and understand our code line by line. Okay, and we need to use async keyword with our method and then after we can use await with the promises and we can also check the response status over here like is it failed or succeed. So response dot okay. So this is the boolean property which provide us the status of our request. So if everything is fine, like if our request is success, in that case, we will find true in this OK. And now let me quickly save it and redeploy it. Now let me click on this get image button. Okay, so with async and await also we are able to paste the data from API and if you'll see code again then this is the simple code which we have used to call the API. 
Now you can understand like how simple it is to call API in LWC component without going to FX. Okay. So that's it for this video. And if you like this video, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.